actually we are using in TME in our warehouse. Giacomo, can you lead the way? Yeah, thank can you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm Giacomo. I'm very excited to be here to show the flexible manufacturing concept of Omroad. In this booth, mm -hmm. as uh, you can see, it's very clean, yeah. empty. Huge. And uh, it's huge, yeah, of course, we are home run. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the objective, the main goal of uh -huh. this uh, booth is to show the flexibility of robotic solutions. Okay. Start from the cobalt Can we see it? and the integration uh -huh. with all our system, uh -huh. like the PLC, mm -hmm. that is an old technology, but okay. it's integrated with new technology, like mm -hmm. cobot, uh, AMR, yeah. robots, by robots. We want also to show some practical uh, application, like palletizing that is very demanding. Okay. We show also the, the customization for e-mobility, mm -hmm. mainly for, uh, simulating uh, some batteries, uh, pick and place. Okay. And uh, also the other interesting line is this yeah. one. It is uh, a very hybrid uh, cell line. Mm -hmm. So hybrid means uh, mobile robots and human. Yeah. The system uh, supervises the operator in the assembly procedure. So uh, the, all the camera, the sensor, check that the operator is doing his correct job mm -hmm. and also automatize uh, maybe the most dangerous part, uh, yeah. like uh, uh, a, a laser marking uh, was mm -hmm. load and load by the robots, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, ticketing or uh, fastening of the screw mm -hmm. is done by robots. And also, in general, we want to show the harmonized way of the production. Because Omron, uh, this is our 90s uh, years. 90 years? 90 years oh, okay. anniversary, okay. very long time ago. Yeah. We start from a micro switch for mm -hmm. X-ray in uh -huh. Japan 90 years ago. Mm -hmm. And now we are introducing the innovation in the manufacturing. This is our claim in general, mm -hmm. innovation for a better society. Uh -huh. And this is what, what we show every day mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> to our yeah. customer and mainly in this book. You've got a lot of people, so the interest is huge. When the customer comes, what do they ask about? The first and foremost question is like, what, what is it? Mainly is uh, asking to new technology, mm -hmm. because uh, we are uh, known uh, by our customer as innovator. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of uh, like super fun of our brand, okay. fortunately. So a lot of uh, system integrator that want to test uh, as soon as possible new technology, mm -hmm. new solution, mm -hmm. and uh, at the end, the integration and not just the product, but the solution and okay. the... Okay, yeah, the final map. The final solution. map, yes. You know what I read once? That when you uh, put together humans and robots and you make them work together, the 85% of increase is uh, for every line. When there is a human line only or robotic line only, this mix is much better. Yeah, uh -huh. also it's much better when you are, re you are looking for flexibility. Mm -hmm your production mm -hmm. so you want to change your your production floor yeah. very i don't know daily or yeah. weekly mm -hmm. so for example a paralyzer construct with their cobot mm -hmm. is very light so you can move uh, very easily inside your the production floor and this is the our trend the, the yeah, trend that the trend. we focus yeah absolutely because now robots are made like when they approach a human they must slow down a little yeah. bit just to not hit us right so they must be gentle about this cooperation yeah and also <laughs> the, the, all the people are must be informed and yeah. uh, we need to learn how to work with the robot very uh -huh. close. Uh, also the safety stuff is very important for Omron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is another part that I won't focus because yeah. uh, we have uh, an entire safety service mm -hmm. all around the world. Mm -hmm. So also it's very useful when you need to produce, I don't know, a machine in Italy, but the, the application is in Brazil, for example. So we can match together yeah. with our colleagues to understand our uh, rules, uh, mm -hmm. the Brazilian rules, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. And also in, during the time, it's very uh, useful for the support, for the maintenance, to have a global partner yeah. that produce not only the robots, mm -hmm. but all the system. Mm -hmm. and, it's, uh, and also it, it, the presence is global. This is uh, our solution. For example, this robot can speak also. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's yeah. requesting to... Uh -huh, I hear it, yeah. <laughs> Is that requesting to... Yeah, but is it requesting something? like you to move? Yeah, to or? move away. Okay, okay. To, to give to, to the robot the time to do the job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when there are many of them, they react to each other in exactly yeah, the yeah, same yeah. way, right? Now, everyone knows the position of the other one. So okay, okay. they will never uh, eat together. Okay. And also there is a plan, uh, there is a fleet manager mm -hmm. that optimizes the trajectory and the request 
for each robot okay, to fun. do this, the, all the job in less time. It's localized the, the shape, so it's uh, every time it's centered, and also in the front there are uh, two more sensors, the okay. photo sets, just yeah. to check the end of the Okay, so placing. it this works till perfection. Yeah. It's achieved. But in general, uh, with Omron, we produce and sell this part until here. Okay. okay. All, everything that is built on top mm -hmm. is produced by our system integrators. Okay. Okay. Or by the end user. This solution is very simple because it's just a lifter, pull up and pull down the, yeah. the pallet, yeah. this half pallet. This robot is able to move uh, 250 kilos. With a cart, uh, we can reach, uh, with a, an external cart, we can reach uh, three, uh, 500 kilos. Okay. But also, we have a, a huge model that is called uh, HD1500. Uh, uh -huh. How much does it lift? 1500 1, kilos. My, our main advantage in general also as a robot specialist, I'm really proud to work in Omra because we can put uh, all the stuff behind. So not just the robot, but the PLC, that is uh, the basic uh, of industrial automation mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. For example, our uh, uh, historical customers are really focused on the PLC, they are super skilled on PLC, so we make a lot of work to do the integration with the robots or the cobots inside our PLC. So you can program every robot just in a in ladder diagram or a PLC language. It's been a pleasure talking to you. To Thank too. you very much. So we are with Andrea at Omron uh, and we are talking about AI. Could you tell us exactly what are you uh, doing here in Omron uh, connected with AI or...? Uh... Yeah, absolutely. I'm Andrea Stefani. I'm a solution architect in Omron Italy and I support the customer to develop the, the best solution coming from the issue related to the production, related to increase the efficiency in their machine, in their line. Here we have an example of uh, an application. Uh, we use uh, isolation forest machine learning algorithm inside the PLC to okay. recognize uh, anomaly detection on the production. So we can, this machine may some defect and uh, instantaneously the algorithm understand that there is some deviation in normal behavior of the machine and so it's a stop uh, to filling the battle. And the algorithm work uh, like your mind. So when you try to see the difference between uh, two twins, two twins, you find uh, which characteristics uh, make it more different. And more two twins are similar you take more time to understand which is the other. Okay. The base of the algorithm is the same. More time the algorithm takes for understand if there is a deviation between two cycle machines, it means that there is no deviation, or the deviation is very, very small. Mm -hmm. Instead, when you have a great difference in machine working behavior, it means that there is a, a big issue. All right. And this is the, the behavior that you see here in the cloud of point. Can, can I ask you something? So, yeah. um, we know that, for example, if a machine is working constantly, yeah. constantly working, we know that every week, for example, we need to do some maintenance job. So, we are yeah. already aware that in one week I need to come yeah. and check it. Yeah. So, this AI will actually prevent this or, or work together? Exactly. This AI is uh, like a virtual sensing that help the maintenance guy to understand if the machine start to have a deviation. Mm -hmm. So if you look, uh, we can start here. If you look yeah, I was over just there, checking for anomalies. Yeah, <laughs> but if you look there, the, uh, the cloud of point, oh, you right. see that these are very close together. Yeah. Because it means that the behavior is similar to each other. But suddenly when I put some deviations, instantaneously the point is moving away from this closed uh, uh, for instance, try to reduce the chain tension. Oh, okay. this reduces yeah. the chain tension. tension. Okay. Uh, as you see here, the dot is now creating a new a new cloud of points. It's moving. Look, it's moving to uh -huh. the normal behavior. Yeah, it's so from programming point of view, we can decide some level. So understand uh, when the machine is uh, change the behavior and so put some monitoring, some issue and so on. And what sensors are you using for this? Uh, actually we not use special sensor but we use the normal variable is running inside the PLC. 
So torque, uh, speed, uh, position, uh, value of photoelectric sensor, whichever variable is running inside the PLC. And those are all sensors from Omron? Of course, if you have Omron machine, we use the Omron project, <laughs> but actually each variable is inside the PLC to be monitoring this way. So mm -hmm. whatever. Ah, have. it doesn't have to be? Yeah. But yeah. Absolutely, you can also create a virtual variable. I mean, if you have load cell okay. to monitor the tension of something, mm -hmm. you can use this variable correlated with the torque of the motor. So together, maybe right. you can do torque motor minus load cell. This is one variable. And you can use this variable as a sensing variable for the AI algorithm. Mm -hmm. So you can also create some virtual sensing that you don't see and put them on the algorithm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.